How to Become a Plumbing Contractor in Ohio Each state has its own unique licensing requirements for plumbers, including the state of Ohio. Just like electricians and general contractors, there are no statewide licensing requirements for general or residential plumbers. All licensure occurs at the local level. Commercial plumbers, however, must be licensed by the Ohio Construction Industry Licensing Board before they can work as a plumber on commercial buildings or projects. Even if you don't intend to become a commercial plumber, you may still want to pursue an education at a trade school or enroll in a plumbing program to learn more about how to work in this profession. Formal training will also give you the option of working as a commercial plumber in the future. If that possibility interests you or working as a plumber in another state, without undergoing the entire certification process from the very beginning. Ohio Journeyman Plumbing License Requirements There are certain requirements set by the, the Ohio Construction Industry Licensing Board that you have to meet in order to apply for a plumbing contractor license. First, you must be approved by the, the Ohio Construction Industry Licensing Board to take the licensure exam. Upon approval, you must take and pass the exam. Then, you will be issued your license. To begin the application process, you must be at least 18 years old, be a citizen or legal resident of the United States, never have been convicted of a crime or offense that prohibits licensure, meet one of the following requirements. Work as a plumber for at least five years immediately prior to filing your licensing application. Work as a registered engineer in the state of Ohio in the construction of plumbing industry for at least three years immediately prior to filing your licensing application or have an acceptable amount of other experience as decided by the, the Ohio Construction Industry Licensing Board, carry contractor liability coverage worth at least $500,000, and pay all applicable fees. Your application needs to be completely filled out, notarized and free or errors before submission. Otherwise, there will likely be delays in the review process. Upon approval, you must successfully pass both a federal and state background check. Thanks for watching our video. Learn more about this topic at generalcontractorlicenseguide.com.